So let's take a look at how to install and use dbweaver on windows so if you go to dbweaver.io you will find a website that looks something like this so here we click on download button and we see two editions one being enterprise which is obviously the paid version second being community edition and you get the download links here and in case of enterprise you get more database support so let's stick with community edition which is free so if you click on installer it should start the download and you will be able to see the installer on desktop so let's run this now here when you run the installer it should ask you to select the language then click continue then click I, I agree then choose the user for which you wish to install then you can see the edition also include Java so here you see uh, it will be available for community only so you can select that click next then destination folder if you want to change this you can do so you can simply use D and some specific folder or just go with this click next then install and it will be installed and auto open if you have selected that option right so it also allows you to create desktop shortcut now hit finish right so let's go here and let's check within dbweaver community and it looks something like this in splash screen now here you see you have to accept the end user li license click accept and here you see do you want to create a sample database you can say yes if you want to test out dbweaver features let it install so by default you will notice that you have dbweaver sqlite sample database you will also see that the location where it is saved and it is basically the chinook database so when you click on that it should start loading it will ask you to download the respective driver files considering dbweaver is written in java i suppose it will require those respective drivers while interfacing with your database click download so it will download those and then we can take a look at the databases so here you see with Chinook you have already tables ready double click on them and you get the table editor right where you have column data type length whether the fields are null or not if there are any primary key with auto increment right you can see that also one more thing is we get to see the er diagram for let's say this table track which connects with the album and artist right so they have connections here right within the er diagram you can edit them right add remove the database and view it in er diagram so there is also data tab which will show you the tableau view of that particular table so you can add to view the album id title and artist id right and also you get to check the view there is a view for emp view so must be for employee table there is also test view which is kind of empty right then you have indexes sequences table triggers and data type right this is for the sqlite database and let's say if you want to connect to any other database you can click on new database connection 
okay now that i have postgresql database and it has some sample data so let's load that before if you want to take a look at what's supported by the viewer you can check these tabs so you can access sql databases also no sql and for that you will have to go with specific drivers before you can use them then there are also analytical databases like azure redshift cognito scream db Remio, etc right there are also databases specific to time series right and then embedded like sql fight duck db csp derby ms access and others so will not be looking at any of those as of now just go with postgres sql and then click next right now here by default some of the uh, text boxes you can see are already filled out for you host localhost port being 5432 database postgres being default then you have username and you will have to enter password that you have set during the installation of postgres right so that is what we need then there is also session role and local client okay so postgres sql 14 is what we mentioned by default right so this is for main tab there are also postgres sql tab that says show all databases read all data types you can see show database stats right and if you want to check few other options you can go do that right then driver so we have odbc driver and jdbc driver if the driver doesn't exist it will ask you to download that so currently i already have that so it has keep those portions so you have ssh proxy ssl right now what we can do is we can check the connection details so here we add information related to our connection and modify if anything requires changing then we have driver settings here you see the driver is selected which is jdbc driver for postgres and the details are auto filled right now let's test the connection and it will come out with success message right so click ok now we can go ahead and connect and connection will appear here just below this sqlite connection now if you expand this it will show you the list of databases roles administrator and system info folders let's go with databases here you see stat for how much it is consuming on your system let's go and open test db to view the tables we go to schemas then public then tables and you see all this sports db database right so you can pick one of the tables right so american underscore football offensive stats and here we can generate sql query select the columns from this particular table then you can copy this and we can run this query using query tool right so sql script editor post this query and hit control enter and as you can see it has shown me the output for my particular table that shows this data in respect to the offensive place within the team right and their numbers duration average turnover and some null data right so this was one of the tables 
there are plenty of other tables you can search for sports db sample database and you will find that right so there are also other sample databases like wikipedia sample database or imdb database that you can also install within postgres or any other database of your choice to practice over this particular db words features right so this was one database you can also check few other features with other databases based on how you wish to access those tables so here you see i have actus table so i can view the table here you see the editor view for the table right there is also tab that sees data right so you get to view the data as well you don't have to run sql query for this right you can by going to sql editor open sql script and then select all from this particular actor table of this dvd rental database right but we don't have to considering we can right click view table right you can also view ER diagram for this particular table right so pretty much simple features you have for data manipulation and you can go through these connect your database through the connection and then you can view your data stored in particular database this you can do with the help of db words so these are some of the basic features but for database specific operation you will have to go through that path so for now you have learned how to work with typical sqlite and postgresql with dbr